Right now in 2018, we are very much dependent on Google, Facebook, Apple and Microsoft services for doing many of our daily activities in smartphones. These technology companies gather a lot of data from us for various purposes. If you care about your privacy and security, here are a list of services that I would suggest and recommend you to use on your smartphone. In this video, I'll be telling about the best and second best alternative to each of these services. So, let's get started. Subscribe to our channel and click on that bell icon to get instant notification update. Google search is the king of search engines. It has 82% of market share for the April 2017 to April 2018 period. Here are the alternatives for the Google search. DuckDuckGo DuckDuckGo is an internet search engine that emphasizes protecting users' privacy and avoiding the filter bubble of personalized search results. DuckDuckGo deliberately shows all users the same search results for a given search term and emphasizes returning the best results. Yandex, currently Russia's largest search engine. Yandex remains the market leader in Russia with 62% of Russian search market while Google only has 27%. Except for Russia, South Korea and Japan, Google is a market leader in every country in the world. The iPhone, Gmail and iPad remained the top email clients in 2018. Bluemail, client app is more lucrative with its tons of features and customizable aspects. The fact that you can add several email services to it makes it even better than other email clients. Another notable mention is K9 Mail, which is an independent email application for the Android operating system. It is made available as free or open source Android software. The web browser is a primary medium through which we interact with the internet. Google Chrome browser has 60% market share. According to me, the main reason Google Chrome is able to achieve these feats is due to the cross-platform compatibility and robust synchronization with your desktop, mobile and any other devices. Firefox Focus blocks ads and trackers automatically. Plus, it can even speed up page loading. Created in early 2016 by Brendan, the same guy who created JavaScript and co-founded Mozilla, the Brave browser blocks all advertisements and trackers that plague the websites that you visit daily, eliminating the need for any kind of blocking extension. The cloud storage market is dominated by Google Drive, OneDrive and iCloud. Let's see some other alternatives. 15 GB free. Yes, it's true. They're providing 15 GB for all its free users. Mega is known for its security feature where all files are encrypted locally before they are uploaded. This prevents anyone from accessing the files without knowledge of the pass key used for encryption. Box.com is an up and comer in the cloud storage world. There are a variety of file management apps and others that have box integration as well and that's nice. New users can sign up for personal accounts for free and get 10 GB of free storage. In February 2014, Social network Facebook acquired WhatsApp for 19 billion US dollars. In December 2017, WhatsApp announced that there are 1.5 billion monthly active users. Here are the alternatives. If you are looking for a WhatsApp alternative that allows users to send and receive encrypted messages, Telegram is one of the best apps on that front. The sole purpose of this app is messaging which is fast and accurate. What I also find interesting about Telegram is real-time synchronization of messages across various platforms. Hike Messenger can be a great alternative to WhatsApp and for a fact, it is among the most popular instant messaging apps Indians use on a daily basis. Hike is better known for its privacy which has been a topic of some of the most heated debates these days. 
Facebook represents a huge potential market for your social media efforts. But it is becoming increasingly difficult to stand out from the crowd. Worldwide, there are over 2.2 billion monthly active Facebook users. Here are the alternatives for each of the famous Facebook features. Facebook though displays the specific stories your friends and family are talking about. If you value that feature, Nuzzle is a great choice. You can sync the app to other social networks you might use like Twitter and LinkedIn and it will feed you the articles your friends as well as friends of friends are talking about. Signal is a free end-to-end -end encrypted messaging service approved by security researchers that sticks to the basics. There are no animated stickers or fancy chatbots but Signal does an excellent job of keeping you securely connected to your friends and family. From the planning side, collecting people's contact info can be a pain. Sure, but that's a one-time bother. From there, use paperless post for beautiful and functional email invites and RSVP tracking. And for more road calendar coordination, use Doodle to find the best day for a dinner or meeting that works for everyone. Olex Group is a global online marketplace operating in 45 countries and is the largest online classified ads company. Groups are the hardest feature of Facebook to replace since they serve a wide range of purposes for different people. If you are looking to organize friends and family in one place, GroupMe is a great choice. The app helps create an organized group chat where you can share photos and messages. If you are looking for a larger circle of people interested in the same topic, there is almost certainly a subgroup on Reddit to fill your needs. The forum site has active communities organized around everything from skincare to anime. For many people, Facebook accounts have become de facto identities across the internet. Thanks to the social networks, integration with third-party apps like Tinder and Spotify. When you sign up for a service using Facebook, instead of filling out a form with your personal information, deleting that Facebook account creates additional headaches. The best replacement is a password manager, which can store your credentials for every site you use in one place. It can also generate a new secure password every time you sign up for a new website or service. Viber is a VoIP tool that allows smartphone users to make free voice and video calls among them worldwide and to share free instant messages with multimedia attachment. IMO is an instant messenger app and communication tool developed by IMO.IM for computers and mobile devices with a basic user interface. Nokia's Here Maps is probably the leading choice when it comes to a Google Maps replacement for smartphones. With highly detailed maps that rival or exceed Google's depending on where you are, as well as a large database of points of interest and now internal mapping of popular buildings, Here really stands out. Going a step further, Here lets you download complete maps for entire countries if you wish. Meaning, you can rely on the maps even when you are in places without a data plan. Maps.me is an app built on the crowdsourced OpenStreetMap database and offers its own set of features building on the mapping data. You will get complete offline map support WPS Office developed by Shuai based Chinese software developer Kingsoft. WPS Office is a suite of software which is made up of three primary components WPS Writer, WPS Presentation and WPS Spreadsheet. Polaris Office allows the editing of Microsoft Office file formats and viewing of PDF files. All files saved in Polaris Office are synchronized with other connected devices and thus documents are automatically updated to the latest version. VSCO is about sharing creativity and it's not about collecting likes, hearts or comments. You can favorite and republish photos you like. But the main goal is to share your photos with like-minded creators and find inspiration in the community. VSCO is a camera, editor and platform all-in-one. Flickr is probably one of the oldest 
photo platforms. It gives you a free terabyte of cloud storage for your photos and lets you edit, share and organize your photos in the app. Share photos to your public camera roll and look at other users' public photos as well. Dailymotion is a popular video sharing site like YouTube and has an interface similar to it. Here one can find trending videos on the homepage or discover more through category section and search bar at the top. Vimeo is one of the best video hosting sites for artists and classy filmmakers. The best thing about Vimeo is its ad-free model. Spotify is a freemium service. Basic features are free with advertisements or limitations while additional features such as improved streaming quality and music downloads are offered via paid subscriptions. Ghana and Savan are the market leaders in the music streaming services industry in India. Bharat Interface for Money Bheem, is an initiative to enable fast, secure, reliable, cashless payments through your mobile phone. Beam is an interoperable with other unified payment interface applications and bank accounts. Beam is developed by NPCI. Paytm is an Indian e-commerce payment system and digital wallet company. Today, over 7 million merchants across India use this QR code to accept payments directly into their bank account at 0% convenience fee. If you like my content, like and share this video and do comment on it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click on that bell icon to get instant notification update. Thank you and have a nice day.